I'm going to show you how to do a glute bridge. There are a couple of different progressions that we like to incorporate for the glute bridge to make your hips and your glutes even stronger. We're going to go through a couple of them. So first of all, one of the main reasons why it's so important to strengthen the glutes is because stronger glutes will take a lot of tension off of the lower back and off of the hamstrings. So for lower back rehab, this can not only help improve your rehab process, but it can also prevent injury in the future by letting your glutes take the load that it's supposed to in order to stabilize the hips and produce hip extension alongside with the hamstrings. You don't want the hamstrings to be the only muscle doing hip extension, especially if the glutes are also large and they're also capable of doing the same movement. So by having strong glutes and hamstrings, together it lessens the load on one or the other, providing more strength and a lot less chance of injury or strain. So there are different ways to set up for a glute bridge, but one of the simplest ways is to lay back on the ground like this. You're gonna have your knees about shoulder width apart, but you can really put them wherever you want. If you have wider hips or if you squat a little bit wider, then you can point your toes out a little bit and have your knees out a little bit wider. Just play around with it, whatever feels comfortable for you. Then we're gonna have your knee at about a 90 degree angle here. Again, you can play around with it, but generally the further out you have your leg, the more hamstring you get, but everyone's different. You might feel it a little bit better having it out. Now, one of the most important tips to this is that you want to make sure that you're feeling the glutes. So sometimes people that have hamstring injuries or low back injuries tend to do a glute bridge and feel either their hamstrings or their lower back. And that's because their glutes aren't activating and are not working properly with this movement pattern. That is really crucial to fix. So what we're going to do is just thrust your hips up like that. Really simple. But you want to make sure that the glutes are firing. So if you're new to this exercise or if you're not sure which muscles are firing, I want you to actually grab your glutes like this so you can feel them contract on the way up. Next, I want you to actually grab your hamstrings to make sure that they aren't working much or at all. You should be able to do this with just the glutes. If you do feel your hamstrings more than your glutes, you have to really take some time. It's probably going to take a few days um, to really repattern that movement and focus on the glutes. It's quite tough and it takes a lot of mental effort, but you will eventually figure out how to isolate the glutes and not the hamstrings. People that have lower back injuries also tend to do these poorly. What they'll feel on the way up is their lower back. And that's because again, the glutes are inactive. So their lower back takes over to pull their pelvis up, which is horrible. We do not want that. Now your first time doing these, if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can have your elbows down here. and do your thrust. And once you have that down, you can raise the elbows. So what we want to do again is just focus on the glutes, making sure that these are the main muscle group being worked. Now the next step to this is adding some sort of progression. And this is for two reasons. One, usually a body weight glute bridge is not a lot of resistance for most people. And we really want to strengthen the glutes so that we can alleviate stress and tension off of the hamstring and the lower back. The second reason why we do these is if people have trouble feeling the glutes body weight, sometimes adding resistance externally can help you feel the muscle fire better. 
So what I'm gonna do is show you a couple of variations that I love in order to strengthen the glutes and make this exercise a little bit more difficult. So first up is the band variation. You can do whatever band you want. This is lighter, this is heavier. We'll go with the heavier one for now. Now the reason why this is so effective is because the glutes do hip extension, just like the hamstrings, but they also do hip external rotation and stability. So by putting a band, which the tension is forcing you inwards, it forces your glutes to recruit, to work and push outwards. I find that just adding this band resistance really helps a lot in terms of muscle activation. Feet up a little bit here more. That feels better for me. Keep breathing. And you want to make sure that your hips are locked out at the top. If you're squeezing them at the top for a couple seconds holding it, you'll start to feel a little bit of a burn. That's how you know you're doing it right. Again, you don't want to be feeling the lower back too much. And do not let the band pull you in. The whole point is to use the glutes by pushing outwards. This is a super simple variation that will help build your glute strength a lot. Next up is using a dumbbell. Put the dumbbell on your hips like this. and do your glute bridges. And again, focusing on the same stuff. Just because there's some added resistance, you can still hold the dumbbell down with one hand and make sure your hamstrings are not doing too much work. You wanna really feel the glutes. I also like to give it an isometric contraction at the top, you're really squeezing those glutes together hard so you can make sure that you're feeling the contraction. And if you want the best of both worlds, you can do these with the band and the dumbbell. Now eventually, we do like to progress this even putting a barbell over your hips, a barbell glute bridge so we can load the movement even more, or doing a hip thrust where your back is elevated so you actually have a bigger range of motion and you can work glutes and hip extension a little more that way. But these are the basics that you need to be able to do well first. Activating and strengthening the glutes are really important in terms of hamstring rehab. The main reason is because the hamstrings and the glutes are both responsible for hip extension. And they're both big, strong muscle groups with multiple muscles in them. So if your glutes aren't working properly or not strong enough and your hamstrings take all the load and the tension, that's going to put a lot of stress on them and makes them more susceptible to injury. We obviously don't want that. We're trying to rehab our injury and get our hamstrings and our hips stronger. So strengthening the glutes is going to not only alleviate a lot of stress off the hamstring because they're both going to be working for hip extension together. It's also going to provide a stronger contraction so that you can run faster, do any sort of athletic movement faster. Activating and strengthening the glutes are extremely important to hamstring rehab. The first reason is because the glutes also do hip extension, just like the hamstrings. So if the glutes aren't working properly or not strong enough, and all of the load is going on the hamstrings, it makes the hamstrings more susceptible to injury, something we do not want. By working and strengthening the glutes in the right movements, they will alleviate a lot of the stress and tension off of the hamstrings and they will both be working together. 
The second reason why this is so important is because strengthening your glutes will also strengthen hip extension in general because you have two muscles working together. So having strong glutes will also assist your hamstrings in athletic power and speed. So improving your glute strength will alleviate tension off of the hamstring and it'll also work with your hamstring synergistically so that you get power from both of them. This will make your athletic movements stronger, more powerful and quicker. You don't just have the strength of the hamstrings doing the work, you have the strength of both big muscle groups. That is super important to athletic development.